I'm here to talk to you about the Integra DRX 8.4 AB receiver, the latest flagship receiver and one of my favorite brands to work with. The DRX 8.4 is an 11.4 channel AV receiver, processing 150 watts per channel into eight ohms. Besides the fact that it tips the scales at nearly 50 pounds, the DRX 8.4 has support for Dolby Atmos, DTSX, IMAX enhanced, Dolby Atmos music, and other major audio formats. Is it the Mac Daddy of all surround sound receivers currently on the market? We'll find out in today's review. Let's have a look. Hi, this is Ben from Worldwide Stereo. I've been a custom installation technician with Worldwide Stereo since 2014. Typically, you'll find me in the field building home theaters or programming smart home systems. For as long as I've worked in the industry, Integra has been highly regarded as the top choice of AV receivers for custom installers such as myself. The ease of installation, familiar setup menus, and ability to easily integrate with any third-party control platform has made Integra a dream to work with. The best way I can describe Integra as a company to someone who has never heard of them is if Onkyo AV receivers were a Toyota car, then Integra would be their Lexus. Integra takes all the great things about Onkyo and makes it better, with high-end feature sets that are always on the cutting edge of home theater technology. The new DRX 8.4 is no exception to that reputation. Included with the DRX 8.4 are the remote control, AM, FM radio antennas, room calibration microphone, and a Dirac Live premium license. Dirac currently sets the bar in terms of room correction calibration. The before and after effect when I run Dirac calibration never ceases to amaze me. The fact that this AVR comes equipped with a premium direct license and no upgrade is needed to complete a full calibration is just the first of many features that set the DRX 8.4 a cut above the competition. Now, let's get into the detailed specifications. Feel free to use the chapter links below if you'd like to skip ahead to a specific aspect of the receiver you want to hear about. If you're familiar with Integra receivers, there's no surprises in the design of the DRX 8.4. Besides the fact that it tips the scales at nearly 50 pounds, given its weight, you'll find a robust aluminum chassis supporting this beast. Overall, the dimensions are gonna be very similar to other Integra pieces as well, with the DRX 8.4 being just a bit deeper at 18 and a half inches. Keep that in mind when deciding on where you're gonna place the AVR because fitting it into tight cabinets and entertainment centers could prove to be a challenge. The input and navigation buttons feel sturdy, giving a satisfying click when pressed, and the LCD display is easy to read as well as dimmable and provides feedback on what zones, sources, and audio format are currently playing. Looking at the back quickly, you'll find inputs in the light areas and outputs in the black, making connections clear and easy. The DRX 8.4 is an 11.4 channel AV receiver, processing 150 watts per channel into eight ohms. Although the dot four should be marked with an asterisk as there are only two independent subwoofer channels despite the four total RCA outputs. More on that later. With all channels driven in the main zone, this receiver can create a 7.2.4 home theater environment. Compared to last generation's flagship DRX 7.3, sporting 135 watts per channel, the new symmetric class AB amplifier built into the DRX 8.4 is a worthy step up in power. However, I must qualify that 150 watts per channel rating in that it is only with two channels driven as Integra doesn't publish a rating for all channels driven through their AVRs. The DRX 8.4 has support for Dolby Atmos, DTSX, IMAX enhanced, Dolby Atmos music, and other major audio formats. The next gen HDMI board features the latest video formats including 8K60 and 4K120. The six HDMI inputs on the backside and one in the front are all rated at 40 gigabits per second, HDMI 2.1, and support Dolby Vision, HDR10, and HLG content. Gaming enthusiasts will enjoy variable refresh rate, auto low latency, and quick frame transport. When testing the DRX 8.4, I was able to enjoy buttery smooth gameplay on my Xbox Series X when passing the HDMI signal through the AVR. Games like Halo Infinite, Elden Ring, and Doom Eternal were visually stunning and did not suffer from any discernible input lag, drop frames, or motion stutter, at least to my less than perfect eyes. Not only does the DRX 8.4 sport a full complement of RCA preamp outputs for all 11 main zone audio channels, this receiver also includes XLR outputs for the front left, center, and right, 
and both discrete subwoofer channels. XLR cables deliver a balanced audio signal, making them far less susceptible to signal noise, attenuation, and crosstalk. This is a big deal because for those of you that prefer to use your own third-party amplifiers for extra power-hungry speakers, the DRX 8.4 offers this superior connection method. Few AV receivers in this category feature any XLR connections at all. Typically, you would only find balanced outputs on preamp processors without their own amplification, such as the new Marantz AV10 or Macintosh MX123. But the balanced audio doesn't stop there. In addition to a smattering of standard RCA inputs, including a moving magnet phono preamp input, the DRX 8.4 also features one stereo XLR balanced audio input for any high-end audio sources such as SACD players or external phono preamps that feature XLR output. Another amazing feature of the DRX 8.4 is the amplified and preamp Zone 2 and Zone 3 outputs. What is cool about the amplified side of Zone 2 and 3 is that you don't have to sacrifice any of your main zone amp outputs to drive Zone 2 or 3. On many entry-level and mid-tier AV receivers, the surround or Atmos height channels are often assignable and can double as either Zone 2 or Zone 3 outputs, thus limiting the total number of channels available in the main zone when utilizing Zone 2 or Zone 3 amplification. That's not the case with the DRX 8.4. All 11 channels in the main zone and the Zone 2 and Zone 3 amp channels can be driven all at the same time. On the preamp side, Zone 2 and 3 outputs also include a single subwoofer RCA output for each zone respectively. That is a cool feature because very few multi-zone AVRs have a dedicated subwoofer channel for the secondary zones, allowing you to add bass management to your extra rooms driven by this AVR. Between the Zone 2 and 3 subwoofer outputs, the four main zone RCA sub outputs, and the two XLR subwoofer outputs, that tallies up to eight total subwoofers you could potentially connect to this AVR. VR. That's a lot of subwoofers. However, regarding the subwoofer outputs in the main zone, it is important to note that only two of those four outputs are independent subwoofer channels and the other two are parallel outputs that will mirror the same channel. It would be nice if all four outputs were discrete individual channels as additional discrete subwoofer outputs in the main zone are trending among other high-end AV receivers such as the Marantz, Cinema 40, and 50. One of my personal favorite features in the latest Integra receivers is the Works with Sonos setting. For existing Sonos customers, the DRX 8.4 can automatically detect when a Sonos port starts playing, turn itself on to the appropriate zone, switch sources to the input your Sonos player is plugged into, and even volume control through the Sonos app through an often overlooked setting called volume pass-through. It is an awesome way to incorporate Sonos's wildly popular multi-room music streaming platform into each zone of speakers driven by your DRX 8.4. But even if you don't own anything Sonos, the DRX 8.4 is still a distributed audio beast all on its own. It can easily stream music to all three zones with either Bluetooth, Chromecast, AirPlay 2, Rune Ready, Spotify, Amazon Music, Tidal HD, Deezer, Pandora, and TuneIn Radio using their Integra Control Pro mobile app. With all of these ways to stream music to all three zones, the DRX 8.4 stacks up nicely against the competition like Denon, Marantz, and Yamaha, which feature their own multi-room music systems such as Heos and MusicCast baked into their AVRs respectively. But Ben, how does it sound? I tested the DRX 8.4 against a variety of speakers. The brand I was most curious to test was Klipsch because of the built-in EQ settings for many of their popular models. The relationship between Klipsch and Integra has sparked an uncommon feature among AVRs. Right in the settings menu, you can select which model clip speakers you have hooked up, and the AVR automatically sets the crossover and EQ adjustments accordingly. I tried it out using the Klipsch Reference Premier RP5000Fs and was blown away with the results. I also tried the DRX 8.4 with my personal KEF 3-channel passive soundbar at home, a set of BMW 707 S3 bookshelf speakers in our Montgomeryville showroom, and a pair of Focal Vestia No. 3 floor standing speakers in our Ardmore showroom, all of which performed beyond my expectations when driven by the DRX 8.4. Sonically, it could be argued that the DRX 8.4 bears similarity to the Onkyo TX RZ70 due to the similar ESS Sabre digital to analog converters and the 140 watts per channel amplifier in the RZ70, despite being 10 watts fewer than the Integra. 
I found the DRX 8.4 holds to Onkyo and Integra's reputation in that the sound stays true to the source, or tone neutral as some might say. I did not hear any major colorization or tone adjustment across the mid or low range, which is what I personally like in an AVR. Sometimes, when I'm listening to a particular brand of amplifier, I can tell what brand it is just by the warmth or texture in the low or mid levels. That is not the case with the Integra. And a blind A to B comparison between the DRX 8.4 and the Denon AVR X8500HA, I was only able to guess which one I was listening to due to the better clarities of highs and dialogue from the Integra, despite the mid and low tonal similarities and overall power they could both output. But don't trust my ears. Head down to our showrooms in either Ardmore or Montgomeryville, PA, and give the DRX 8.4 a listen for yourself. One question I get a lot is, if you're a home theater installer by trade, what makes Integra so desirable for all you technicians? Well, the answer is the ease of setup and configuration. When doing custom installation, we often attempt to hide AV equipment in closets or server racks. Integra AVRs have always made their settings menu accessible from the front face of the device. That means every setting you can tweak in the Integra is accessible from the built-in screen and navigation buttons. Not many other receivers on the market can do that. Alternatively, the Integra Control Pro mobile app also allows in-depth control and setup of the AVR over the local network through a phone or tablet. Therefore, if the receiver is in a different room or in an equipment closet beyond the line of sight from the stock remote control, you can use the Control Pro mobile app as your remote control. Furthermore, the settings and setup menus can also be accessed through a web browser, allowing you to configure the AVR from a computer on the same network. Control systems such as Savant, Crestron, URC, and Control 4 integrate seamlessly with Integra's wide array of discrete commands via IP, IR, or RS-232 control. With all of these options available, tucking the Integra away in closets or hidden in a basement away from the listening position makes it super easy for initial setup, fine tuning settings, or integrating with your smart home system of choice. Finally, the white backplate makes connection visibility for installation in even the darkest of equipment cabinets a breeze. With any high-end audio equipment, I recommend good power conditioning to feed clean, consistent electricity into the amplifier. My favorites include the Furman Elite 15 or the AudioQuest PowerQuest conditioners. Also, when talking about what we feed into the AVR, high quality sources with top shelf interconnects to be sure there is no bottlenecks in source material through the AVR and out to your eyes and ears. Professionally speaking, AudioQuest always performs the best when it comes to digital or analog cables interconnecting equipment to any AVR. Finally, never go cheap on speaker wire. You can find Worldwide Stereo's premium 14 gauge four conductor speaker wire on our website or in either of our showroom locations. At the start of the review, I asked, is the DRX 8.4 the Mac daddy of all surround sound receivers on the market today? And to that, I answer a resounding yes. It checks all the boxes. The specs scream luxury and high end, and it doesn't slouch in any category. The only real complaint I have is hauling this thing to and from each location I tested it in. Weighing in at nearly 50 pounds, this thing is a beast. But what do you expect from 15 channels of amplification? This receiver will give any AVR and even some preamp processors a run for their money given the feature set this thing packs. If you want the best high-end AV receiver on the market, you should look closely at the DRX 8.4 for your next home theater installation or upgrade. Thank you for joining me for our review of the Integra DRX 8.4 11.4 channel network AV receiver. You can learn more about this online at worldwidestereo.com or if you're in the area, you can stop by our showrooms in Ardmore or Montgomeryville, PA. We offer 60 day returns, free shipping on all orders, and we're authorized dealers for everything we sell. If you have any feedback or questions, leave it in the comment section below or you can call or email us anytime. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. This is Ben from Worldwide Stereo. Hopefully you'll see me in your house one day soon to install the best home theaters in the Philadelphia Tri-County area. Thanks for tuning in.